everybody. I'm Becky Haggard. I'm a Public Affairs Officer with the United States Navy. I'm Ryan Kelly. I'm a Public Affairs Officer with the U.S. Coast Guard. And I'm Matt Knight. I'm a Public Affairs Officer with the U.S. Navy. Okay, so what you're all here to figure out, what is our research project about? Uh, basically, the question that we wanted to ask was, is there value added when an organization's public relations team works with the entertainment industry? So in the Navy, for instance, we have an organization. We don't have representation from there tonight, but NAV Info West, some of you might have heard of, uh, they've been working with the entertainment industry for years offering technical support. Now, when I say technical support, what, I, what we have defined that is uh, anything that a liaison organization provides to the entertainment industry in order to influence the shape of the narrative. So a common criteria for evaluating how you have uh, influenced an audience are your KABs, your knowledge, your attitude, and behaviors. Uh, so the stated goal for NAV Info West, which we just talked about, is to enhance public awareness and further the accurate portrayal of the Navy's latest technologies, ships, and highly trained personnel. So from that, you hear that the Navy is really focused on knowledge. Uh, from a scholarly standpoint, we also took a look at the attitude portion of that. <coughs> So the way that we did that was we split our stimuli into three cells. So we had uh, The Last Ship was one. It's a TV show on TNT. If anybody knows what time they did air, do a shout out. Uh, but that was a Navy-supported television show about the Navy. We also looked at The Last Resort, which is no longer on the air, but that was not supported, though it was still about the Navy. And then finally, we had a control group that was not about the Navy, didn't have any kind of Navy support, but there was water involved. So there's a common Okay, so these cells allowed us to investigate several questions. Uh, first, does technical support offered by the Navy to Hollywood create any kind of change at all in knowledge or attitude? Uh, does it matter whether the Navy is offering that technical support or will programming about the Navy be effective regardless of whether or not support is offered? And finally, does prior affiliation with the Navy have any kind of effect on how programming is received? And if so, what sort? So now Ryan will talk to you a little bit about our theoretical framework. Thanks, Ben. So we rooted our experiment and our research in second level agenda setting and agenda building theory. For those of you not maybe not familiar with that, it's a merely an extension of the first level of agenda setting. So first level agenda settings basically postulates that the media can present something and get you to think about that something, but they might not be able to affect um, well, how you think about that. At the second level of agenda setting, the media can affect how you think about that issue, maybe aspects of that issue, and also at the agenda building level, it's, it's the PR team able to influence the media in the building of that agenda as well. So as Becky mentioned, we kind of compared those and looked at that. Um, for example, take candy. Everybody loves candy. If the media is presenting candy in some sort of form, whether it's television, news, some sort of form. In first level, they say, we can get you to think about this crackle bar, but we might not be able to get you to think about, you know, or uh, express some sort of feelings about it, or think about maybe aspects of the crackle bar. But at the second level, and please take one pass around. Oh, don't <laughs> you can take it with you. <laughs> it's wrapped. Well, it's, it's, it's pretty wrapped. Right. But at the second level, maybe we can get you to think about how the candy tastes its health benefits, those are certain aspects, and then affect how you do feel about it. And apply that to our research, um, we basically say, can, can at the second level of the agenda building, can uh, a Navy's PR team influence how you feel about the Navy itself, your knowledge level, your attitude, or your behaviors when it comes to the Navy? And that's, how, and that's what we compare it and use second level agenda building and say that. And I'll turn it over to Matt Knight to talk about our results. All right, thanks, Ryan. Um, we really found in our four hypothesis that we had two distinct concepts. Now, first off, does technical support impact the audience's accuracy of knowledge about the organization? And then secondly, does technical support impact the audience's favorable worldview or attitudes about the organization? Um, now, hypothesis three and four were the same thing as our first two. We just added in whether or not somebody's prior involvement impacted it. And when I say prior involvement, what I'm talking about is whether or not that person, a friend of the person or family, was involved or knew the organization was somehow uh, interrelated with that organization. So from that, our findings, we found that our findings hold really important implications for all organizations who are considering involvement with the entertainment industry. Um, specifically, after viewing the uh, supported media, people showed statistically significant, and I'm 
these were statistically in there, but uh, increases in their views of authenticity, reputation, and credibility, which are attitude attributes that we were testing. Um, and that's after they were exposed to media supported by uh, Navy technical support. So um, those also, I want to say, those that also had prior involvement also showed a significant, in, in, sorry, significant positive change in their attitudes. So these findings really do show that support um, from technical support has a significant impact. Um, the audience, the, the audience does change how they what they feel about it, but not necessarily what they know about it. So that was the part of our hypothesis that we could not prove is that knowledge was not necessarily changed, but attitude was. Now this is really kind of a uh, a big thing for the Navy is in any organization that's looking to change uh, or is looking to impact its audience um, because it really shows that you can add value through the public relations efforts um, that people feel about or the about. So all you guys that worked on the last ship, good job. You're yeah, you, attitudes. You've changed job. attitudes. Well done. Maybe not knowledge, but you've changed <laughs> attitudes. So, and that really kind of wraps up uh, our presentation. We want to keep it as short as we as possible to be getting one. So if anybody has any questions, I think questions are allowed. They are, at this yeah. Point. And okay. we have time for them. Time so. for them, yes.